got some juice to it. We got one. All right, I'm out camping and we do not have any snow. It has been crazy. If you saw my last video, I was out camping in the snow and now it's 50 degree weather, no snow, um, maybe a little bit of rain maybe, but that's it. It's, it's some strange weather right now. So I just got the tent all set up. We're camping in a beautiful location. There's actually a waterfall right over there. We'll go check that out here in a minute. So this is my second time at this location. The first time I showed up, I brought a new tent and the pole snapped. <laughs> that was terrible. So I scrapped that video. So we're out here again for the second time. And this time I brought the trusty Krua. Easily up there as one of my favorite tents. I did bring the inner cocoon. So we'll see how hot it's going to get tonight. Um, like I said, we're having some crazy temperatures, so I don't know if it's actually needed, but I just like that like feeling of this tent. It just is awesome inside there with the, uh, the sound dampening and all that. So I figured I'd bring it along. All right, you guys want to go check out that waterfall real quick? Let's do it. Isn't that awesome? That's one cool looking waterfall.
What do you think the odds are there's fish down there? Right there, what do you think? There's only one way to find out. Well, at least I tried. <laughs> oh, maybe uh, maybe later we'll come back. All right, we're gonna head over to another location real quick, and hopefully I can actually catch a fish, because I really want to redeem myself. Alright you guys, we're out here on a trail and we are using my new e-bike. I got a new toy. I reached out to this company called Sonata and they were generous enough to send me out an e-bike and this thing is awesome. I love it. It's a fat tire e-bike and it can get you just about anywhere. Wow, that looks pretty down there. Wow, cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. We're gonna try to go down this way and see if we can get to the main body of the lake and do some fishing. Hopefully we can catch something. That water looks so cool. It's fast. This thing is fast. I got to be careful. So we're gonna go down here to the beach. Um, and that's exactly where a fat tire bike is perfect. Sand and snow, you guys. Woohoo, yeah. <laughs> She's fast. All right, let's see, how do we get down here? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to walk the bike down this little hill. Looks a little too treacherous to ride down. All right, make our way down to the beach. Ah! Try not to break my fishing pole. Wow, this is really nice out here. Super nice. I think we're gonna head over that way maybe and uh, see if we can get a nice location. I don't know, I just wanna cruise around on the bike, you know? Woo! Man, that thing's like fast got some juice to it.
don't know. This looks like the end of my journey. I was hoping I was gonna be able to keep going across there. Well, here we are. We made it out here and it is peaceful. Very quiet out here. I saw one boat and that's it. Um, and also there was one other guy fishing way back there, but other than that, I'm the only one out here. So we're currently sitting at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, it feels really good out here. It's just crazy how quick the, the weather changes around here. I don't know why. But like I said, if you watched last week's video, we were in the snow. Uh, mind you, we went out to uh, the mountains to get it, but it was much colder last week. And now to be in the 60s, I don't know. It's just really weird, really weird. <laughs> Gonna do a little hot chocolate while I wait. Oh yeah, that hits a spot. Nice and warm. It's sweet. That's a nice little pick me up right there. While I wait for them fish. Come on, fishy. Let's go. I won't catch you and eat you. All right, maybe I shouldn't say that. Uh, catch you and tickle you. <laughs> 
You never know what you got to say to catch a fish. You just never know. Oh, where, oh, where can the fishies be? They all swam upstream away from me. I've got a beta hook and catch them for good. So I can feed my belly tonight. All right, it's time for a little bit of jambalaya. Probably once I do this, I'll catch a fish. <laughs> Got a nice fire going. It's very crackly. Very crackly fire. Very, very well seasoned wood. Still a little bummed I didn't catch a fish. That's okay. Maybe I can do it tomorrow. I don't know. Kind of slammed this week. It's gonna, my daughter's birthday is coming Friday. She's going to be nine. Whew, nine years old. My kids are growing up, it's going quick. All right, now that that fire's going, we'll start prepping everything for dinner. I've got a good one. It's gonna be delicious.
Oh yeah, we're going Gouda. Double Gouda. Oh. These are ribeye burger patties. And I think they're gonna be awesome. Like really good. Especially with the Gouda. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. It's been just amazing seeing your creation, Lord, that waterfall, <laughs> as I can hear it right now, is just marvelous to look at. Thank you for keeping me safe out there on the bike and bringing me back here safely. Lord, I just thank you for the time I had out there fishing. Lord, even though I didn't catch anything, it was just wonderful to be out in your creation, seeing all the beautiful things that you've done. I pray for the family as I'm away, Lord, keep them safe. Bless this food to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, man. Look at that burger. Double Gouda burger. And potato chip. <laughs> nice little crunchy potato chip. That's how you do it. Make it yourself. Mmm. <laughs> Well, let's see if I can actually eat this burger. It's gonna be quite the challenge, I think. That ribeye beef patty is awesome. I saw them in the store and I was like, oh yeah, I'm having that. Well, dinner was awesome. That was really good. That burger, nothing like a ribeye burger. So I wanted to thank all you guys, um, everybody that subscribed. The channel's growing like mad lately and uh, there's a lot of new people and I just wanna say thank you so much for, uh, for showing me your support and for hanging out with me on these videos. It just I can't thank you guys enough. It's so cool hearing from everybody from all over the world. Um, it's just truly a blessing. So I just want to say thank you guys. Also, if uh, you haven't already, I do have an Instagram. I'll put it right here. You can go check that out. Uh, you can kind of see like updates and, and what I'm up to uh, prior to even the video. So, or sometimes if I have an issue or something like that, I might uh, post on Instagram that there won't be a video. <laughs> so what'd you guys think on the e-bike? Cool? Yay? Nay? I thought it was pretty awesome. Being able to go up those hills without any effort was just like, <laughs> it was kind of the best thing ever. <laughs> I'll definitely be using it a lot and I have some good ideas for it on the channel. Like I said, we're gonna use it in the snow. We'll test it out, see how it goes. I haven't really ridden it a whole lot, um, so I'm gonna put it through its paces, kind of test it out, and uh, see if there's any problems I have. You guys will all know that stuff. I'm just having fun, you guys. I'm, ha I'm having fun with the channel. Um, products are coming in, things are happening, and I, I just want you guys to be okay with, with what I do, I guess. If you don't like it, then I won't pursue it anymore, but if you do, let me know. All right, it's time to set up the trail cam here. I uh, just have her on this tripod because that's a big old tree there. So we'll just go ahead and turn it on. And we'll get in the tent and hang out. All right. Good to go. It's nice, cozy, and quiet in here. Well, I mean, I can still hear the uh, the waterfall, but it's not as loud. <laughs> so we'll check out the trail cam real quick. I'll show you guys that. Uh, hit record. There's the tent. I don't think we're gonna see anything tonight. <laughs> so, so don't get your hopes up. I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff out here anyways. You might have some deer Obviously some geese, but other than that, I don't think there's much. 
All right, everybody. I'm heading to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Let's go fishing. I'm bringing along Wiley this time. Maybe he can help me sniff out a trout. Or he'll just be trouble. Probably trouble. <laughs> Hang on back there, Wiley. Got one guys, we got one.
Ja. Yeah. All right. All right. Got one. Yeah. We got one. In my head and rules. If him this him not no that. adipose. This him. Is he wild or not? Not clip. Not clipping. Uh, clip. Clip. Clip? Yeah, clip. We're good then, right? Probably. I, I, I give for you magazine. You read on your language. I am my language low. Where are you from? From Could Ukraine. Put him in the water. Uh, you from U Ukraine? Yeah. Oh, very good. Um, I believe that he's a stock trout. Planted, not wild. Mm. Correct? I, I don't know. I, I give for you magazine. You write. You read in. You read in the magazine. Okay. This is salmon. Uh, and uh, for trout, same right. Correct. So he's hatchery, uh, farm, planted. They planted him. Not wild. Not wild. Uh, not wild. Just, just reason. Okay, trout year round, no minimum size, mm -hmm. daily limit five, uh -huh. only adipose fin clipped trout may be retained only keep clipped mm. wild mm -mm. release release mm -hmm. oh. only this to home take home take to home oh yeah <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> you're welcome uh yeah. company yeah. salmon uh, uh, first, nope. first. Kokanee. Kokanee. No mi minimum size. Any size you can keep. Yeah. Uh, six. 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 Um, no more than two with can be wild. You can have two wild mm -hmm. for kokanee. Mm -hmm. Wild wild not clipping. Wild not clipped. Wild not clipped. Not clipped. Wild has the fin. Take to whom? Only two for kokanee. Only two. Only two for kokanee. But none for trout. So trout. Only two when clipped. When clipped. Yeah. Only so, uh, two when clipped. Yeah. You can keep two. Take home two wild uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, kokanee. Uh -huh. But not trout. Uh -huh. Other push back. Push back. Are you going for kokanee? Are you fishing for kokanee? Uh, what different kokanee or other trout? Trout. What different? Um, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm new to fishing. You can to home. Because of this. Yeah. Uh, they they stocked him. Yeah. They grew him in a hatchery and then put him in the lake. Not wild. Uh, so you like it? You like it? One, one, take to home. Do you want him? No, oh, why? Well, I, I will take maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you will keep. Yeah. <laughs> maybe cage. I don't know. Um. God bless you. God bless you. Can I try something with you? Hmm? Uh, I want to try something. Uh, no, 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 no. Here, you hold him in water. All right, we caught one. Finally caught one.
That's a good looking trout right there. We're gonna cook him up real quick. So excited to finally catch one. Guys, I caught a fish. <laughs> yes, finally. How many times did it take me? I don't know. <laughs> I had a good time out there fishing and uh, yakking with some new friends. Uh, it, it was a good time. Great conversations. All right, I'm getting it all prepped. I got some butter and some lemon. So we'll just go ahead and just kind of doctor it up. Gonna hit it with some blackening. We'll just kind of do a little bit of coating on the outside here and on the inside. Oh yeah. Get it all in there. Put a thing of butter on the inside. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> we'll get her on the heat. I think she's gonna fall apart on me. Oh. <laughs> this is a first for me, you guys. Look at that. So from my understanding is the pin bone should just come out right now. Oh yeah. They look like they are. So then what, all you got to do is just kind of push it back like that, I guess. Comes right out of there. <laughs> I still have some pin bones in here. But. Well, I must confess to you guys, I'm not a huge, like, fish fan, to be honest with you. But here we go. I'm trying it. <laughs> oh, wow. That actually tastes really good with all the seasonings. And the lemon. Mmm. No, that's not, that's actually not that bad. Mmm. So as I caught the fish, a fellow fisherman was coming over uh, to help me out. And I just wanted to say thank you to him. And uh, just for the conversation we had, it was a blessing. It was a major blessing um, being able to talk about the Lord and everything with him. And it was, it was an honor to meet you. So I just want to say thank you for your time um, and helping me out there. All right, that's going to be it for this video. It's getting late. Sun's about to go down. And I've got to drive ahead of me. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video.